Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Cindy here from CLB Craft Creations with another card project for you today. This is a birthday bash theme. Uh, we're using some birthday bash designer series paper. We're using the Celebrate Today uh, stamp set as well as the coordinating balloon framelit dies. Um, you can bundle those and save 15%. Um, and we are currently offering um, free shipping until April 10th, so you may want to uh, check that out. In addition, I am currently offering a free gift with a minimum purchase of $25 when you use a hostess code. So check that out in the description box below and um, make sure you don't miss out on those good deals. So to get started, uh, we're going to take a piece of, I'm actually going to bring in my, uh, my trimmer. Move that off to the side. We're going to bring in the trimmer and we're going to be using um, a piece of Whisper White cardstock cut at four and a quarter by eleven, scored at five and a half, so it's your standard, your standard card. Uh, we're going to do some scoring and cutting on this. So you want to take your um, your paper and you want to um, score that at two and three quarters, which is going to be half between the two. Okay, so you want to score that and then flip it around. And I'm going to line up right here on this edge here. It's going to be one and a quarter, and I'm going to cut that off. Okay, so just line that up and cut that off. Okay, so now um, I'm also going to, we're done with the trimmer now, I'm going to take a circle punch, and I'm just going to, right in the middle, I'm just going to cut out a little notch doesn't have to be huge, just enough so that you can slide your card, your gift card in. So now um, fold on that score mark that you just made and make sure that you use a bone folder or something to really press that in because now you're going to have some weight in there and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Um, you're going to have some, the paper's going to be bulky and then once you put the gift card in there it's going to be even, even more bulky. Okay, so now we've got, we've created this little flap. I'm going to use Fast Fuse. You can use Sticky Strip. I recommend using something very strong. Um, for me, the Fast Fuse seems to work just fine. And then what you want to do is you want to put the Fast Fuse just along the sides there. You don't need anything at the top or at the bottom because obviously the card's not going to go anywhere once you, um, you seal it up. So we're going to go ahead and fold that over and close it up. And um, I am actually going to go ahead and stamp uh, my my piece right here. So I'm going to use Knight of Navy and I'm going to use Celebrate from that stamp set. And I'm just going to line that up. I probably could have done this before we actually um, folded that over, but this is fine. Okay, perfect. So now that's done. Now we're going to go ahead and start layering we are going to take a piece of crushed curry cardstock, which is cut at four by five and, a, um, five and a quarter, and just with some snail, just layer that up. It's gonna be your inside piece. So just center that like you would normally. Okay, and then I have a piece of my designer series paper, my um, birthday bash and that is cut at three and three quarters by five. Okay. Center that on there. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our layering pieces out here. So a piece of crushed curry, which is cut at um, four, by two and a half so that, that that just centers right onto that little piece. Let's remember my measurements. Okay, so we'll just layer that on there. And now my designer series paper is cut uh, just a quarter of an inch smaller, which is three and three quarters by two and a quarter. Probably would help if I actually wrote those down. 
instead of trying to figure it out on the fly. <laughs> so now we've got that layered on there and I'm going to get a piece of another piece of Whisper White paper and this is just a scrap. So I'm going to set this off to the side so hopefully it doesn't get destroyed. And I'm going to take the, the balloon images and my crushed curry ink. I'm going to ink those up. Now I'm actually going to bring in my mouse pad. If you have your stamp and pierce mat, um, you could use that. Because these images are really solid, I like to make sure that I've got a little give underneath of it. And uh, just so that we get a nice solid stamping. Okay, and then you just press that down. Give it a second for the ink to transfer. And I know I've said this before, the, um, the ink tends to go on a little splotchy, but as it dries, it definitely gets smoother as the, the ink absorbs into the paper. Okay, now I'm taking the other balloon stamp that says Happy, and I'm again in the Crush Curry. Stamping that, and I'm going to take the birthday, which was in that same set, and I'm going to use the Knight of Navy again, and I'm going to stamp that right under the happy. Okay, perfect. That is all of the stamping that we need to do now. I'm going to put these away. And I've already gone ahead and die cut those out just to save time, but I'll show you, just knock my light, I will show you, I just love that these coordinate so, so well. So you just line that up and then you'd run those through. These, the, the ink is still a little damp too, so be careful. Um, but you just run those through and then you would get your your two die cuts. Now see, you can see how much smoother that stamping is as it's had time to dry. So our next step, let's bring back in our card. I have a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock, which is cut at an inch by nine and three quarters so that it will wrap around. It serves as my belly band. Now, this one, I left the, the plain balloon on the outside and then I realized afterwards that there really isn't anywhere to write on the inside with this designer series paper. And I didn't want to put, I didn't want to put um, a piece of white paper on there to, to mask up that paper. Um, so I decided what I was going to do with this one is just switch it around and I was going to put the happy birthday on there. And at least then this way you can write you know, love mom or love auntie or whoever. Um, so it's not a, a lot of room to write, but at least it's something. So the um, so what we want to do now is the easiest thing that I have found is to actually fold the paper around your cardstock. Because every time I've tried to score it, it doesn't necessarily line up that that well. So what I've done is I've just kind of eyeballed the center. Actually, it's not really much of the center at all, but I've tried to eyeball the center and I fold it under and then you bring it around and you want to do the same thing with the top. Okay, and so then you can take that off and you can just make sure that it's it's at least lined up and folded right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of snail on here. It'll go. Okay, we're not advancing. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit there and then a little on the underside of the other piece. And then I will go ahead and wrap this again. So just lining it up with the center of my card and then folding it over and just giving it a little press. Now, my husband was screaming down uh, into the basement. Um, okay, so where was I? Um, so the stamp, th this cutout is actually large enough to cover over the um, the seam of this and I didn't I wanted it to be a nice clean look on the back so the next step is to just add some dimensionals and I'm gonna actually add the dimensionals 
right to the belly band so that I can make sure that it's it's centered. And of course I could have probably lined those up a little bit better. Let's take that down a little bit further. Okay, take those off. And then just center this up the best you can on your belly band. Now this is the tricky part because now you have to get this piece under here so that it's exact when your when your belly band is securing your card. So I just put some snail on the back. Make sure that your belly band is where you'd want it to be. And I'm having it right there in the center of my card. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of bow it a little. Actually, you got to make sure that your, your underneath card is with you. So I'm just going to bow it a little bit so that it, it kind of opens up. And then I'm going to just hold. Now I'm holding the balloon from the front. Um, make, again, make sure that it's going the right direction before you go in and do this part. And now that I've, I'm holding it and I know exactly where I want it, I'm just going to hold it down. And now it is secured on there. And then of course you can just slide this over and then give this a little, a little rub. And it's done. So there's still a nice little place there that you can write. It says happy birthday, celebrate, perfect little slot here for your gift card. And that way you've got a gift and a card all at once. So there you go. I hope that you liked this. This was um, actually really fun to do. Um, it's always nice to change things up a little bit. And I know that I give gift cards all the time, so uh, finding creative ways to gift them is always a challenge. Um, so hopefully you'll give this a try. I really enjoyed it and hope you did too. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And uh, don't forget to check out that free shipping deal and the free gift that I'm offering when you use the hostess code. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.